Epilol, 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 LOL, Epilol. Thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. Sorry if I butchered your name. All right. This hand's garbage. This hand's kind of garbage, but we're going to keep it. So, land for delirium. Yeah, I think we're going to put this on the bottom. We're looking for like a street wraith. We can mess around with our bobble though. So, I guess I'm going to keep it because it gets us one closer to delirium. We need to deal ourselves more damage, anyways. Oh, man. One of the parts of playing the four color deck is to not play against Flooded Strand. And it appears that we are going to play against Flooded Strand to start. So if I like my top card, Polluted Delta. I don't like that, but I can't fetch a blue source. So we're just not going to counter something on turn two. I'll go get like a probably a stomping ground to make it so that I have double green so I don't get whacked off of it. Prairie stream. Okay. So this is going to, we're going to go get a stomping ground because we want double green so we don't get fielded off of green. And it gets us a red source as well. One of the hardest parts about working this deck is the mana base. Oh, geez. What is going on here? Lone Missionary. All right. Well, that's going to at least get us Delirium because we're going to be able to hit this with a push. We're a turn off, which kind of sucks. Like, our best draw would be Street Wraith. Not another one of those. So I think instead of killing this, I would rather Inquisition my opponent so that I can go like push, traverse, death shadow next turn. Okay, I can hit something like Kitchen Finks here. We still have a Restoration Angel coming, which is going to be a headache, but I'll probably just end up pushing this because I just don't want to have to fool around with this. That Field of Ruin doesn't really matter. Yeah, I'm just going to push this so that we get it off the board. It doesn't get blank. Turns on Delirium. I'm trying to field run me in my upkeep. Yeah, so I guess I'll just push. Push now. If only Traverse was an instant, I could have played Tarmogoyf. Stubborn Wall. So what do I want to get? Not Forest. Okay. So, Tarmogoyf is a 5-6. Doesn't race the Restoration Angel very well. So, I think I'm just going to shock. Hey, stop that. Stop that. I think I'm just going to shock in a Watery Grave, Traverse for a Death Shadow, and play a Death Shadow. I can get whacked by... The problem is... If they have Path to Exile, I, and I take a turn off, they play this Resto. And they might be able to race me. I'm just going to get it and hope they don't have it, I think. I mean, we make it so they, they have to take a turn off. Like, they can't do it on this turn or we will be able to stub it. It just kind of sucked that we didn't play against. We didn't play. I want to play against like solid decks. We didn't really play against the two. The one thing going for the Black Green League last league was the two good decks that we played against. We beat. 
And we beat Whirr and we beat Dredge, which is nice. Oh, you got it. Oh my god, this is such shenanigans. Opponent's getting that F6 value. Thoughtsies or another traverse. That works as well. It's actually a pretty nice draw. Okay, so we're gonna crash in. We played the second blue star so they can't cut us off of anything. We play another shadow. Okay. All right, whatever you want to do, dude. This is kind of what the death shadow this that this version of death shadow does. It just puts idiots out there and hopes it's good enough. Okay. Part of the plan. That's what are we looking for here? Team of Battle Rage would win us the game. They can cut us off double. They can cut us. They can field us off both of our red sources, which kind of sucks. So likely means we won't battle rage our way out of it. All right. Uh, give me one second. Okay. So I shock myself. I get in. I don't want to shock myself. So what we want to do is just attack with both. Because if my opponent we might have to save this bobble to turn on revolt. Because I don't want to be dead in two shots of the restoration angel. Yeah, you got it, sir. Play your resto, take five. Yeah, I don't think I can wait on this bobble because it's slow. So I'm just going to do it now. It's still a two turn clock, but if my opponent doesn't add to the board, then they're dead. Oh, they're drawing a path, which is good for us. We have that covered. All right, push is nice. All right, so this rest those gone. I think they still have two planes and a path. One planes in a path. They're taking the resto, they're just dead. Unless they have another resto. I would think that my opponent would have attacked if they had another, if they had a resto, because they would just attack, blink, and then block. If my opponent fields me, then, all right, so that's, that should be game over. I'm not going to show them the basic.
I guess that was a little loose for me because of the second path. I wasn't really thinking. Doesn't matter. No, it didn't matter. If we have a second path here, I'm going to feel pretty stupid. But because of that cycle. Okay. Made a mistake, but we didn't get punished, which is good. Okay. So against this deck. I don't really know what my opponent's deck is, but I think I want like hard removal. Um, Lasso doesn't seem that great. I mean, they did have an X one, but like I don't know if that's really what we want to be fighting. Lily on the Veil is probably a little loose for killing uh, whatever they are, the dumb two one like Thraven Inspectors. Um, I don't really want. I don't know if I even want my second stubborn denial. I mean, my third stubborn denial. Like I might just want to be removal and threats and just have enough in there to like keep it in the mix this deck could play rest in peace which i would want to deal with but we've got eight discard spells and two uh two uh we have eight discard spells and two um gosh how do i say this and two counter spells to deal with that Okay, so this hand has Delirium, which means we've got 12 live draws, and we get a Scry, and we have a discard spell. So you can't really mulligan hands like this with this deck, I don't think. I don't think you can mulligan when you have a little bit of manipulation. You can get Delirium going, and you have Interaction. Because, like, half the battle is making it show, like, when tra making it so Traverse is online. So I'm gonna hold my bobble because I'm gearing I'm thought seizing 100 percent this turn. And there might come well now I'm gonna bobble my opponent. Yeah, I think I want to churn through my deck a little bit. Just kind of see what they're doing. Because I'm 100 percent using my mana this turn. But I'm gonna save the next one for next turn. Yeah. Leave it. And this is my worst fetch land. They're drawing a land. What are you talking about? They have X2s in their deck. If anything, Tarfire is good in, the, in this matchup. Uh, I want all my I want all black lands. This is probably my worst one. Oh, this matchup for sure. Well, it's, it, it's kind of like part of it is that you're just more explosive. So I kind of want to just take this wall of omens, knowing that I'll be able to kill this deputy because like when it comes down, it's going to give me revolt. So I'm just going to take care of this. The life points, the life points don't matter. Um, yeah, Tarfire is a delirium enabler. Like it, it's just like every once in a while you play against small creatures and you just tar fire yourself for explosiveness. We are playing against a meme, yes. We are super memeing. All right, so let's take a look. So we have Traverse online. So Traverse, Death Shadow, Tarnroyf is what we're looking for, and we're probably gonna shuffle anything else. You don't play enough creatures to make incubation and gruity any good. Like in the Death Shadow aggro deck, maybe? All right, so there's our boy. The real Slim Shadow. Please stand up. So I'm just going to get a Watery Grave with this because I guess we're not going to stub anything. So what land do I want to get Field of Ruined? Really? No. 
Leave it. Leave it, buddy. Leave it. Sorry about that. Chili's got a sore that he keeps licking. We gotta make sure that he doesn't, so that's why I'm trying to hear while I'm doing it. Um I have three other green I have a lot of other green sources, so I'm just gonna get the tomb and play the shadow. The black black green black green the black green league did not go very well. Hopefully my opponent deputies this and then attacks. I get to just eat this thing. Give me the twofer as you free my soul. All right. Blade splicer. Okay, well, we'll tar fire this. Now I have to think if I'm attacking or not. He's. Oh, wait, let's probably have no option to put your name as credit for recognition anywhere. Yeah, we can't, we don't, uh, yeah, they don't give it out for us, but but yeah, Carnivore is great. It's nice that you did that. I'm just going to play this land pass, and then hopefully we can finagle something in combat here. I could attack, but like I want to at least give the... I mean, I'm on the defensive. Like We've, we've drawn... Many a land to start this, which has not been nice. But you don't get Seer Visions. So, like, excuse me, you've got to know what you're signing up for. I think this is gone. I don't remember them having two. All right. All right, it'll just pass. I played the zoo variant a little while ago and was not impressed with it at all. I agree this next one will be a good spot. Like the decks, like the the thing is, is like Death Shadow Street Ray Thoughtseize is such a good core that you know you can kind of do with it whatever you want. But I don't understand why you wouldn't do the other thing. Oh yeah, I always call it Jun Shadow, even though it's technically not Jund. I probably shouldn't have played my. So that's what they drew. At least both of us are drawing nothing. So that's got to change things, right? My opponent can hit me for five next turn, which will put me to five. If I crack them, Fetch Shock hit them for six. I go to seven. And then the turn after that, if they attack me to five, I can fetch to one. So, yeah, we're just attacking. Now I'm actually going to play my basic out. So that if I have to get a black source, I don't have to, I'm not forced to pay for it. So I think I'm fetching here. 
And I think I'm going to seven. They can only crack me to... Well, no, I, I want to get this here. I want to get a red source. So I think I just messed up. Yeah, I just messed up. So that, that's another hard part about this deck is the mana base. So we'll just pass. Because now I can get fielded, and then I'm in like a race that I don't really want to partake in. So what I can do to hedge against Field of Ruin or a removal spell is just push this because I can deal myself three damage anyways. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to Fatal Push this. Because if my opponent did draw a way to, kill, to field this or kill my shadow, then I can still just do the exact same amount of points of damage to myself anyways. So, like, there is no tomorrow, right? I guess I can do exactly 19. Or I can do exactly 18 to my opponent and still not die to this. So, I'm just going to play. I don't even think this fetches anything. Play this, attack. Okay. Now we in trouble. Gonna yield to this turn. If your opponent was bound to draw something. We've got, what do we have for outs? Another Death Shadow, so that's what they drew. So their hand is still Plains Flooded Strand. Number one. That was tough. That was rough for the home team there. I think I'm just gonna submit. Like I could I could be talked into veils on the play. Because we really didn't see anything for these stubs to do anything with, but but what are you gonna do? All right, again, we've got a shadow. Like, these are the hands you got to keep here. Um, is it worth to thin out to get, like, a, a watery grave? So I can play a shadow on two next turn anyways. Wondering if I want to fetch before I street wraith. And I think I do. Because we're gonna go hard to get our shadow into play. And then we'll back off once we do that. I guess I'll get... I shouldn't have gotten that one because that land doesn't do anything. Doesn't interact with the board. God, I'm smart and thin. All right, we'll take one path. Okay, so we drew a tall fire. So they drew a land. So now we just play this and pass. I need to get my shadow outside of, but I also need to be able to deal with these restoration angels, which was going to be tough. So maybe I shouldn't have taken the 
Even these rest is gonna be hard. Yeah, it's pretty it's 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 a good night tonight. Okay. So they're gonna be able to cast one of their two restos. Alright. Game on. The second shadow is nice. And this just gets us a red source, probably a stomping ground, so we have a second green. Oh no! Now I can only play one shadow, damn it. Yeah, can't. Yeah, I already, I messed up. I need to get another black source. Whew, that was a mistake on my part. Lone missionary, okay. Tar fire that. <sighs> okay. I think this is just attack for five, play a shadow. Oh, it'd be nice to be attacking for ten here. Yeah, it would have been nice to be able to play another shadow there because they'd be at 13 right now. All right, so we're going to lose a shadow here. Stopping around was like literally the worst land I could have gotten. Okay, so they played this. So now let me think. I think I, I don't think I can tar fire myself quite yet. Okay, so that is that doesn't give me a blue source. So eight ten. Just go down. I think the best way to build this mana base is to not play the forest and then just play black duels. Because I just get wrecked. Every, like, I, I hate making it, I hate having it so you can't fetch certain. What do we got here? Freeman Inspector? That's annoying. Okay. I'm going to untap. All right. So I'm going to attack. I get a free attack here. So if opponent doesn't block, they die. But they're going to, they're definitely just going to chump block with their. They're definitely going to chump block with the Thraven Inspector. <clears throat> so they have two rest. Those are the last cards in hand. They're drawing a Thalia. So I'm just going to get rid of this right now.
We're in trouble here. It's not a bad draw. Jeez, that might. That's good for the home team. We have Resto up. Are we just going to like abyss our opponent here? Like how is this going to work? So I'm going to take this to make it so my opponent has to jump with a Restoration Angel. Or play Thalia. I guess I wait because if I draw a fetch land, I win. Didn't work. Okay. Now we just wait. So their hand is Resto Thalia. My opponent could play something weird like a spell color. So I'm just going to deal with this. So I'm going to have to deal with it anyways or I'm going to die. So just get it off the board. Ooh, that land was so good. I probably can't beat that land unless I draw Battle Rage. Because now they can go like block and like they, they can fight the Abyss and flash it in. Man, this uh, Gore Clan Rampager would be nice. All right. Attack. I guess the Rampager wouldn't kill them because they can put enough toughness in between it, but it would get them, you know, put me in a better spot. All right. A yield. Oh, I guess they had it. They had it beforehand. Yeah. Yep. Now, Gore Clan's pretty bad, in, in my in my experience. Like, Gore Clan would have been nice there, but it just doesn't do enough most of the time. Would have been nice there, yes. Yeah. I don't know if Gore Clan's terrible now, though. I mean, when I played the deck, I thought Gore Clan was pretty bad. But, you know, could just be wrong. Everyone, tonight, today is my mom's birthday. It's pretty sweet. My mom turned 29 again. I mean, the first time. Keeping it. Peter. Yeah, I think designing this mana base to try to be Field of Ruin just messes you up too much of the time. But I would have won that game if I hadn't punted and I would have just kept... Um, if I had just been able to go double shadow the turn that I went single shadow. So, like, that, that was a loss, but it was my fault. Almost a five. I'll put a card on the bottom. And the bogles are out. Oh, it's ether vial. I think it's humans. 
All right. All right. Yeah, I should just like you should just build the deck, like you should just build the deck to lose to Field of Ruin because then the mana base is much more smoother. And we're just gonna like you know brick and die. Nice. All right, I want that. There's no need to cycle my next Street Wraith. Hopefully I get to push something this turn. Because then I can traverse for Death Shadow and find Death Shadow. Or traverse and play Death Shadow, excuse me. Uh, decks with Faithless Looting will. We're going to do that whole priority shenanigans. All right, well, I'm just going to kill that. So what do I want to get for lands? Um, I can go get basic, or I can just go like hard and can go get Blood Crypt Stomping Ground, Blood Crypt Overgrown Tomb. I think that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to play Death Shadow next turn. Because if my opponent tries to race with me, then it works better for me to do that. I could Thought Seize, but I just want to play a threat. The only thing that Tron will be hurt by it is that if Tron um, is that other decks might get closer to Tron, if that makes sense. Like, because Tron already mulligans so well that an improvement in mulliganing doesn't really do a lot. I've only got two cards, so let's hopefully we get here. Get a reflector mage bud. The hard part about traversing is that I can no, they don't they never get priority. Mantis rider, okay. So I'm just gonna attack, then traverse for another shadow and play another shadow, and then like that's, you know, how we're going to do it. Oh, they're not attacking. That is nice. All right, well, I'm just attacking. I'm going to attack and play another shadow. My opponent can't, um, doesn't get an opportunity to meddling mage me here. Well, that's the only thing that I thought about Tron. Like, Tron doesn't actually get worse. Like, it gets better. But how much, like, the strongest part about Tron was the fact that it mulliganed really well, in my opinion. And if a bunch of other decks get to mulligan well, is the deck as well as good? You know? I mean, I, I played a uh, team event with a Tron player. And that doesn't really matter. I'm just going to play Morons for the rest of the game. Like, I'm just going to turn my creatures sideways. Yeah. This game's just a bunch of non-thinking from the home team. All right. So here's the interesting thing. I'm going to Inquisition my... Wow, well, okay. No, I can't Inquisition my opponent. What I can do is 
cycle my street wraith. I can present 11 damage this turn, which means my opponent has to chump. So what I can do is go traverse for a fetch land, attack, my opponent double chumps, and then I can fatal push a Mantis Rider, which is exact. Oh, I don't have the traverse. So I can also just push... But I would like to be able to have it all and not lose to Mantis Rider. But I guess I don't lose to Mantis Rider if I just Fatal Push. But if I cycle trying to hit a Fetch Land or a Traverse... Blech. I'm trying to think of the best line here. Because, like, yes, my opponent is in the Abyss if I go Fatal Push. Then they have to block one of them. If they have a 3-drop to Violin... I just want to think of the best way to do this. I don't have a lot of... I only have, like, eight fetch lands. I think it's probably just best to go push. This attack gets Magic Rider off the battlefield. I get blown out by a Reflector Mage, I guess. And now I just attack, they chump, then they chump again. I think we beat, we beat everything but double Mantis Rider. Mantis Rider Reflector Mage, Mantis Rider Blocker, but then they're, they're just in the abyss anyways. Okay. Okay, so playing against humans, bring in Everything that kills something. All right, that was easy. Liliana the Veil is probably slow on the draw. So we're going to go like this, and we're going to call it. Zach with a Twitch Prime sub. Thank you very much, my friend. You're great. I appreciate you, Zach. We get the little Yoda dance. Because everyone likes a dancing Yoda. It's been a great stream tonight. Watch me stumble through a league with Black Green. It's Cabal member Sticky Yellow. Yes, sir. Um, Mulligan. Uh, we have a dismember. We can keep a land. We can play Tarmogoyf. Um, I'm going to... Here's the hard part about bottoming a card like this is that it makes it so Traverse is online, but we already have Tarmogoyf, so I don't think we need Traverse. So I'm going to put this on the bottom. If we didn't have Threats in a hand like this, I would keep that. It's also just a redraw, but putting it on the bottom, scrying to the bottom is effectively the same thing as a redraw. Well, that one's tough to beat. At least Goyf blocks it, but we have to get a Goyf in play. All right, that's a slow way to do it, but it will get it in there. We want to traverse for swap. Swap. I do have green creatures. It is nice not being just straight up cold to that. Well, I wouldn't have had the chance to bottom, right? So you're saying if that Street Wraith was my seventh card? I probably would have kept my hand and shipped a Tarmogoyf. I'm going to let these triggers resolve. My opponent wants to violent an image here.
get rid of this I don't know the new mulligan rule I haven't thought about it that much to be 100% honest so Thalia okay see my opponent I think my opponent messed up there like they should have they should have vial vial the Thalia in they should have like played Thalia first and then yeah they're trying to get greedy for another counter but it didn't work out yeah, play the goof black green did not go well <coughs> so goif is goif goif's thick All right. Is there a reflector mage? What are we doing here? Oh, you're dismembering my tongue goif. Okay. Joke's on you. I have another goif. Would like a land drop or a death shadow. Tar fire, not bad. Um, yeah, I don't know who's posting this link, so we're just gonna mute this one here. I, I, I just, I don't know. I don't really like links posted in here when I don't know it. So we're gonna just, I don't really wanna time you out because you're probably doing something nice, but I don't really like it when I get links posted in here. Feel really bad, but I don't like it when links are links are posted. So I'm gonna time you out, but I, you probably don't deserve it. Oh, gross! So we're just gonna tar fire this Dahlia. And then I'm just gonna do this on my opponent's up. Oh my god, Andrew. Uh, we're just gonna hang out. I'm gonna pop this on my opponent's turn. Yeah, thank you very much, Andrew. I appreciate you quite a bit. Oh, Reflector Mage? Jesus. Oh, that just killed me. Because they crack, yeah, I'm dead. Like the mage too good. Yes, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Yeah, you gotta go with the best emote on Twitch and the cutest dog over over however many pounds. I like these Lilianas a little more on the play. Um, as we saw, the discard wasn't, discard was kind of poor. I'm going to cut two Inquisitions. I want to keep Thoughtseize to deal myself another damage to, like, combo kill them. Yeah, dude, that's the best emote on Twitch. Philly is the cutest dog over 30 pounds on Twitch. I would like to play first, yes. I would like to mulligan. The problem with this, I'm only three quarters of the way to Delirium. I don't have a Traverse anyways. I do have a Battle Rage, which is really nice. All right, this hand's solid. I'm going to put that on top with the option to get rid of it. So this gets me Overgrown Tomb. This gets me Stomping Ground. Okay. The Philly boy is a good boy, for sure. Andrew, that day has happened. All right, you got it with a vial. Do I even want this dismember? One, two. 
don't really I'm not really in the mood market for tarifying myself either I don't think I want my dismember I do think I'm going to shock myself <coughs> Okay, play this and go. All right. Hopefully this Liliana does some heavy lifting because like our hand is not really panned out. All right, I'm gonna fetch a tap land. Then I'm gonna pray that I get to edict my opponent here. One time. I did not do well with a rock deck. So this is okay because like we're gonna eat a creature. Hopefully our tire fire eats another creature and then we can traverse because we have delirium. The dog's holding magic cards. Like it's like this. Dog has a hand. They get their noble hierarchy in. There's a chance that I messed up by punting it by fetching too early that I could have held a fetch land to turn on this fatal push. You know what I also should do? Um, modern format playoff details. The problem with these is that I don't know what deck I'm going to play in either format. So I, I can't like sign up for it, I don't think. Oh god. Uh, one of my friends says it's solid, so I decided to give it a try. Manage my black work right now. Get into the same shape. Yeah, dude, it's lights on missionary, dude. <clears throat> you going at my Liliana or are you going at me? Okay, so now we have delirium. We have to push this and unless we draw a discard spell. All right, that's not bad. So now we go push this. Tar fire this. I really don't want Tarfire or Noble Hierarch. I can't really feel that good about myself by Tarfire or Noble Hierarch. Because what I can do. Like, no self respecting person tar, like kills Noble Hierarch on turn four. So, I have enough mana. Where I can just play this watery grave tapped and then dismember Tarfire on the next turn. But that lets a meddling mage me. Problem is, if I traverse now. I feel like killing this noble hierarch is a spew. Mm. 
I'm probably gonna go get a Tarmogoyf because uh, Goyf can tango with Ariok Champion. So here comes a Mantis Rider. Okay. <clears throat> now I take three, go to nine. And then traverse for a goif, play a goif. Hopefully we find something else to do here. Yeah, it doesn't really count as something else to do. Play Tarmogoyf. So the Goyf holds down the fort for a little while. The next one we'll go get a Death Shadow because like the best way for us to win this game is Death Shadow Battle Rage. That's okay. Do you draw a Reflector Mage, Deputy Detention? All right, now we gotta rip something extra. Scoop them up. All right, let's get in here for, the, for another match. Hopefully we can pull it out. It's been a tough, uh, tough league for the home team. It's been a tough day. It has been a tough day. I'm going to keep. We're going to get an overgrown tomb and in Inquisition. Moto is a little laggy. Like I, I probably should have restarted Moto at some point. Jeez. I kind of want to take. I would take a path. I'll probably be able to soft stub this Esper Charm at some point, which would be nice. All right. Been a tough day for the home team so far. Yeah, that's what I'm working on too. You know, I'm probably gonna play Grixis Shadow, but like this is another 
this is another deck that's like that I thought might be a little might be good, but every time I like think they should do this, they should do this me. Well, I guess they don't know that I'm Jun Shadow. Man. All right. Get him with the thought sees. Yeah, I'm just gonna take this card that draws more cards. And hopefully my opponent slows down for a little bit. <clears throat> I should have just fired off that Esper Charm right there and either made me discard two or drawn two. No. Yeah. Maybe I was supposed to mulligan my hand, but like, you know, I've got 17 lands left in the deck. I've got four bobbles, four street rates, puts me up to 25 good hits that I want, or four traverses. I don't know. All right, we want these. We want these. This comes in. Uh, this comes in. We want to cut Battle Rage. We want to keep Dismember because of Angels. Let's bring in Fatal Push. Cut the Tar Fires. Submit. <clears throat> We're Bug Shadow after Sideboard. No red cards. I hope everyone's having a good time. I'm getting beat up tonight. That happens sometimes. Andrew, again, thank you for the gifting the subs. I appreciate it. Yeah, lightning bolt is is medium at the moment. I'm gonna go grab another beer. I'll be right back. Okay, I would like to play first, yes. All right, let's go. This hand is decent. I'm using my mana 100% on this turn, so I'm going to just bobble my opponent and save the other bobble for maybe next turn. Though, I kind of just want to cycle through my cards in order to, like, find a threat. Like, I don't really want to sit here and play. So I think I'm just going to spew my bobbles, just get things moving. Okay, so negate and logic, taking negate or logic knock doesn't really matter because there's two of them. I think I'm just going to take Snapcaster. Then hopefully we can like uh, get a threat in underneath that. Like Tarmogoyf would be a very nice draw here. You got foil anglers for Niagara. Nice. Thank you very much, Tyler. Everyone in the chat should give the elmer man 19 some love he is loaning me a legacy deck for niagara he is the man
Just letting me do the letting me do the GP. Um, so this gets me stomping ground. No, it gets me blood crypt, so I have double black. I'll pass. It's been a little rough. Yeah, Tyler Cook is the man. Stubbing this ass to lose. But I would like to. If they had like one less land, I would think about it. All right, well, we can run one of these into a negate. Oh, wow. They're just going to, like, put the shields down for a turn. All right, well, Houston, we have a way to win. Thank you again, Andrew. And thank you, Tyler. This turn. I really should have restarted Moto. It's just a little laggy. Okay, so I play the Swamp. So I know most of my opponent's hand. All right, this should get some. It's either get a counter spell or might force some action. Because if they just Esper Charm, and they'll probably just counter it, which I'm okay with them doing that. No, I probably should have waited. This was stupid. Yeah, I should have held this Thoughtseize for a turn when I wanted to push something through. And I, I actually wanted my opponent to Esper Charm there so that I could stub it. That was a mistake on my part. Because the, the sub stopped. The sub is soft. The stub is soft. Jesus. Losing my mind. I have not won with Liliana Zombies in a while. So it'll be kind of cool to do. All right. Um, might as well hold this land. Didn't really do anything. Yeah, I made a mistake last turn. I shouldn't have thought these because I wanted to soft stub this, and now I can't. I mean, I could have like double stubbed it. We're going to have to play our, all right. Now, see, a thought season would be great here, but we can't pile, we can't power through this logic knot. I'm just going to play my breeding pool untapped and then try to fight over this Liliana. You got it. You got it, dude. Don't play a Snapcaster. Okay. So I know this Esper Charm's gone. Animate, you're calling egg. They might just try to kill me. There's a chance that they get enough mana where they're like, okay, I can play through a removal spell. Looks like they're going for it.
All right, we're gonna do this before combat. Then we're gonna ult our girl. All right, nice. And we can actually get our shadow in play now, which is nice as well. I don't know how to play this in. Put some play tapped. Let's get ourselves some zombies. I haven't won with a Liliana in a while. Nice. All right, send it back. 164 people here. I'm glad you're all watching and hanging out. It's been fun. Appreciate you all for doing this. I'm getting a little tired. I think this is going to be my last match of the night. It's a little past my bedtime. I don't have to go to work tomorrow, which is nice. I say it's pretty nice, actually. Discard spell, discard spell into both Liliana's. That's how we drew it up. And we had a appeared to be hesitant keep from our opponent. I'm just gonna play the water grave. I don't really know what I want to fetch. I don't understand playing peak. All right, I kind of just want to take both of the card draw, or at least one of them here, to just kind of strand my opponent with nothing once these Lilianas start working. I'll probably take Cryptic Command with this one, though my opponent doesn't have that much mana. They should have opted. I don't really understand why they didn't do that. It's not bad. It's really far off casting their Esper Charm, though. Maybe I shouldn't have even taken it. Okay. The card on top. So they're going to hit some land drops. I'm just going to take this Cryptic Command. It's going to be able to bounce my Liliana, which we don't want happening. Ugh. I have to be careful with my fetch land here. I might be without green. Because if I get an Overgrown Tomb or a Blood Crypt, I guess I should get Overgrown Tomb. If my opponent tries to field me. This is where we're going to go with the old, we hope they didn't have it. I'm going to ditch my dismember, I think. I might just ditch Stubborn Denial, because it's going to be really hard to hold up mana. Yeah, to keep counter spells in my hand while this Liliana of the Veil is going up is going to be difficult. So they ripped a push. <sighs> so my wife got me this really cool Yeti, like koozie thing here, that it keeps whatever you put in here cold longer. Like it, it, it like, I don't know, it's, it's like a thermos. This thing is sweet. 
big fan. Super great birthday present. All right, so there was another field. So they don't field me again. I'm just going to play the second Liliana. Yeah, whatever. Get my forest. I have a blood crypt I can fetch here. So now we'll go up. I think I'm going to ditch my dismember. Yeah, it is really sweet. It's like a, it just keeps my. It's awesome. It's very, very sweet. Ditch this. Okay, so they kept, they ditch Esper, Esper Charm, so they still have Polluted Delta Path. That's their hand. So now we're double teaming them, getting them from both sides. Two threats. I think we're in a good shape. We're in good shape at the moment. Ooh, we're gonna get cryptic commanded. That would feel so bad. Oh, logic not sure. That's all right. That is a okay. They're gonna keep ditch their delta. They'll have path. This ults at like six, right? Yeah. Oh wow, they ditch their path exile in the face of a tarmaloif. All right. I am really tired. Um, I'll just talk about the deck quick, and then we'll call it for tonight. Um, I think this mana base is wrong. I think you should just cut the forest. Excuse me. Play just black fetch lands and play just black duels. Like, just whatever. Like, Field of Ruin is going to get you. The two, two decks that play Field of Ruin are not super prevalent. I just put Somewhere. Um, the black green one's not even good. I think I think the Bilbao win rate showed that. Um, my you know I mean, my personal biases aside, it it was pretty abysmal. It's positioned well against the top decks, but you got to get paired there. So I think the best way to build this deck is to like get rid of this breeding pool, play another water grave, get rid of this wooded foothills, and just play the fetch land. Um, I really would like. Um, I know you all have been great tonight. I'm going to send you over to one of my friends. Um, this friend is uh, my um, one of the guys that was in my wedding party. His brother streams a lot, and he plays with that guy that was in one of my best men. So I really want you guys to, for me, check this guy's channel out. Give him some love. Um, but besides that, thank you all for showing up tonight. I hope everyone has a great night, and I'll see you all next time.